tonight gathering for the holidays. I think, yeah, there's a bit more comfort. Um, and having the vaccination. But is the pandemic changing your plans? I'm just kind of hesitant. The message as COVID cases continue to rise. Speaking out over South End sidewalks. They've been zoning out here for quite a few years now. There's been no sidewalk. The safety concern in Guelph. It's always here at a bit of a risk. And response from the city. Plus, a woman found dead. Our Swift water team was not able to make a recovery. After a vehicle plunges into a river and ends up near the edge of Niagara Falls. The desperate rescue attempt and response. Good evening, free and accessible. The key words from public health experts who want the COVID testing process in Ontario to get easier. If you've tried to find a rapid test lately, you'll have discovered that peace of mind also comes with a price. CTV's Colin DeMello explains. With the Christmas holidays around the corner, concerns about the spread of Delta and Omicron are mounting. And now the Ford government is facing pressure to make it easier to get tested. It's time to free the rats. And by that, I mean the rapid antigen tests. When rapid tests first arrived, the premier declared them a game changer. Well, finally for us this evening, more than 7,400 stuffed animals were finding new homes thanks to last night's teddy bear toss at the Kitchener Rangers took on the London Knights. The Bears rained down at the odd just minutes after the 11 minute mark. Fans were encouraged to bring a new plush toy to the game and throw them onto the ice after the Rangers first goal of the night. All those toys have now been handed over to more than a dozen local charitable organizations to help make the holidays a little more bright. So far, more than 172,000 bears have been donated during the 26 year tradition. It's always such a nice tradition to see every single year. Well, that's all the time for us this evening. Thank you for spending part of your night with us. Tony Grace will be back here for more local news at 1130 and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a good night.